Right, so um, here's the first Hurricane 23 completed. Well, there's a few odds and ends that need buttoning up still. Um, so I'm just gonna take you around, and give you a bit of a walk through of it. So we've got a SBS trailer, 300 ton, easy loader. So the hull is a commercial layout, very thick. Uh, it's going to the Hebrides in Scotland. So therefore the customer wanted a very strong, uh, a very capable boat which is what we've given him really, uh, even at 40 knots for the weight it is, it's uh, pretty heavy and pretty good going to be honest with you. So just talking about the hull a bit here, you can see we've got these chines that run all the way up to the bow, really good for head on seas and reverse chines on the kill here, so really good cornering and control. So a bit different to most of the standard DV hulls is this quite curved, you've got a curved peak then as you go towards the stern, it flattens out and curves even more. The reason for that is uh, to create as much lift as possible, so it's a better getting on the plane. Much more control. I'll just show you here. You can see that how deep the curve is there on the transom. Give maximum lift as possible. These chines here as well, you can see. Uh, so the grey is a vinyl hull wrap that we've done, it just breaks it up, it makes it uh, much more pleasing on the eye, not too overpowering, not too much white. And then, originally this was for a stern drive and what we've done is built this outboard pod to take this single 200 horsepower Suzuki. Uh, it can take twins as well, uh, it's just we, we made it so that we have the option of single or twins rather than having to make multiple moulds um, you know, twice as much work, all that sort of thing. The mould can always be shut down to make a smaller pod or obviously at this width you could fit doubles on there quite happily. So we've got rig in there, stern light, Lenko trim tabs through the hole there. Uh, so this is a manual jack plate just to give the engine a bit more rise um, so we could get the power we needed uh, and not to cavitate or obviously too much drag caused on the engine. Um, stainless steel end caps, bump caps as such. Uh, so this was a custom door made by Hooked and Messy. So well, it's a custom removable door that slides in and out for access on the pontoon to the engine or boarding, whatever you prefer. And then he's also made us this lovely bait table, bait station, weight holders, all that sort of thing. So I'll just show you a bit more of that in a minute. Um, rails running around the back of the boat, rod holders, as you'd expect for any angling boat. Uh, rocket launcher up on the roof there as well. So they'll just go up. So, you know, there's a, no, there's a nice bit of deck space on this. You can get four anglers on here comfortably, but equally, there's also enough room inside the cabin. You can get four guys in the cabin and then, you know, and all have your sandwiches, your cut of tea, whatever, you can come out on the deck. And all have a nice bit of space fishing with enough room in the middle for an esky or cool box, something like that if you wanted to. So just show you a bit more of the bait table. So we've got a back pocket here. And then this actually slides in and out as well. So you've got option and then it also unmounts from the top here. So you can have the option to have this, take it away. Um, the customer wanted this specifically. Just because he's also had installed this commercial net hauler. So this was made by Sovereign Workboats. So it's been bolted into the gunnel, into the floor. You know, for getting a commercial nets and gear up over the gunnel and then here is a power pack that, that powers the net hauler uh, so this is a little custom GRP box and then it's got a donkey engine inside hydraulic pipes leading round to power this um, so yes yeah, so we've got a port separator there in the corner and then a primer under there as well and um, you know it's all Nice and thick, nice and heavy duty for him. Uh, so all the rigging runs up under the gunnels. So it's nice and tidy. On the floor, we've had sea deck. So this was a custom design we had done. You know, it's nice underfoot. It's good for pleasure guys. I, I wouldn't always recommend it to the commercial guys just because uh, what they're gonna be putting it through, dropping anchors and things like that on the deck, then um, it's, it's not gonna last too long, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah. Rocket launchers, quantum radar on the top with a scan strut mount. Alley frame windows as well, 6mm glass. Nice door, you know, all weather tight. So we've got deck lights as well. So 
some LED deck lights. You can see they're quite bright. They actually, we've got some photos up and actually cover a nice bit of the deck. Well, all the deck really uh, light that up quite nicely. So that's always good. Yeah, so a nice door. Nice size. So hidden inside. A little bit darker in here at the minute. So helm. So we've got obviously side throttle, LED light. Depending on what you're looking for, VHF there, ICOM, Raymarine, 9 inch um, Axiom screen, voltmeter, cigarette lighter because he's got a searchlight on here as well that he wants to plug in, um, and on and off, and a USB charger in that as well. So the steering system, C Star, it's a C Star hydraulic system, um, so you know it's nice, it's nice and smooth, lovely and smooth, um, a lot easier to rig as such than cable rigging. And then we've got a uh, trolling mode for the engine, the keyless start system, Lenko trim tabs. Uh, we've got a remote control for the anchor winch, which is up over the bow, um, and a few other bits. So down the bottom there, we've got stainless antique steps, foot rests, and some nice seats. So these are flip down bolster seats. You can come down. Yeah, nice and comfy. Really hugging, so yeah, they're very nice seats, very high end. All of this uh, storage box there, so there's a hatch in the front here, and then we've just got this diesel heater which will be installed here with the exhaust going out the side. And then, yeah, there's, I mean, the windows are lovely, lovely size, give you great visibility. Vetus uh, window wiper there, and also a solar powered roof vent. So, yeah, it's a nice space. You've got six foot headroom in here anyway, which is always good. Um, well, unless you're over six foot, of course. Uh, fusion soundboard as well, so it's all got full, full fusion sound system in here. Control. So we've got this one here, um, we've got two on the deck as well. So this one's got a freeway, so sub tweeters and mid range. Um, like I say, the storage box there, so whatever you need to go in there. And he's also got a cooker that he will have on top. Um, and then batteries, so we've got dual batteries in here. leisure and a cranking battery so you can run both systems off of that so it's all carpeted inside anyway as well a bit of sound insulation and warmth if you're going to need well he's going to need it up there in scotland i'll tell you and then anchor locker chain uh well drain horse pipe all that sort of stuff in there Ugh. yeah so I mean, it's a comfortable space down here, like I say, so you could have two there in the seats as well. We could also have two or three people sat down here um, if, if they wanted to. Um, obviously, if the skipper's not at the helm all the time. But for a 21-foot boat, it's uh, quite roomy, really. Well, well, I think so. The pod has opened this up so much more uh, that you could almost get away with this, you know, almost on par with other 23, 25-foot boats. So yeah, I thought I'd just give you a quick run around before it goes away. It's meant to be leaving us next week anyway, so we're, we're pretty much there. Just like I say a couple of odds and ends to button up, and that'll be it.